Welcome to this week's edition of NWA Worldwide. The match in progress, Chris Michaels versus the Colorado Kid. Coal Miner's glove on the pole. The first one to get to it gets to use on their opponent. I am Don Cost Jr. I am here with flamboyant, flaming Farron Fox. Oh yes, and what a match this was. What a night it was. There was action from start to finish, and I'm telling you what, we've got action coming up today in the show. You're gonna see, Don, what led up to the travesty that happened at the end of this match on the Colorado Kid, or I call it, you know, a, an early Christmas present, but a lot of the fans would call it a travesty. Well, it was a travesty. Obviously, you know, Chris Michaels and some of his cohorts put off one of the biggest coups, one of the, oh, uh, you'll wait and see it, wrestling fans. It's unbelievable what they managed to pull off. Oh, beautiful drop kick off the turnbuckle. Well, wow. Colorado Kid goes down, Chris Michaels celebrates. And I'm telling you what, <laughs> this show is, is starting with action, and I guarantee it's going to end with action, so you do not want to miss a minute of today's show. I've got a big announcement coming up later. You're going to want to hear that, Don. And then also, you, we've got the fabulous ones, you know, the big fabulous, the fabulous ones reunion is coming up March the 13th, right down there at the Nashville Fairgrounds, and they're going to have show some footage, some, some, I guess, retro footage, you would call it, of the fabulous ones. And I'm sure you'll be right down there in front of the fabulous ones, Farron, because we all know you are a big fan of them when they were in Nashville, Tennessee. I think you used to buy tickets for ringside, and that's for their autograph every week. Oh, yeah. I love the fabulous ones. I thought you did. Which was your favorite, Farron? <laughs> That would be Stan Lane. <laughs> okay, Stan Lane, Steve Kerr, no slouch himself. Right now, Chris Michaels is getting back in the ring, going up for the uh, glove on the pole. And uh, Farron, you said you have a big announcement later on. We're also going to see some of your encounter with the Vols. Well, uh, see, now that was a travesty right there on my half because I'm telling you what, Burt Prentice and Bill Barron's put me in this match somewhere I didn't want to be, and you're going to see on the tape what exactly happened. And you just missed a beautiful axe handle off the top rope from Colorado Kid, landed square on the head of Chris Michaels, and kind of knocked himself over in, uh, in the process. Right now he's got Chris Michaels in the tur turnbuckle, doing a great job as we see at the moment. And of course, Chris Michaels upsets it a little later on. So fans, stay tuned whatever you do. You're not gonna believe what's, what you're gonna see here. Guess what else? Some of my favorite eye candy's coming up too. The Bad Street Boys are gonna be on today's show. I cannot wait to see that. <laughs> well, obviously, you, they may be a favorite eye candy of yours, but I don't think you enjoy being on the other side of the ring from them too well. I seem to recall a match or two matches where they kind of throttled you, so to speak. Well, where else can you just be thrown around by hot? Uh, what, just, I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, you know, but like I said, action from start to finish today, wrestling fans, and I cannot wait to see what happens to the Colorado kid because I was there live, and I was like, I cannot believe this is happening. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it either, and even after we show what happened then, we're going to show some footage of the perpetrators returning to the scene of their crime and what happened then. And guess what? NWA Worldwide is expanding every day. We're going places that we've never been before. Like for the first time, we're gonna be in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. That's on February the 26th. That's right down there at the National Guard Armory. We're right in there. I think it's TV 43 that's uh, co-promoting this show in Hopkinsville, Kentucky at the National Guard Armory. Well, you need the TV channel without even a crib note in your hand. And also the 27th will be at Lafayette in the, in the middle school there. And looks like Colorado Kid is about to get to the coal miner's glove. Chris Michaels, oh, just stopped him short. Oh, pulled him off the turnbuckle by the seat of his pants. Colorado hit hard. He went straight down to the mat. You know, I think, I predict that Colorado Kid's gonna be spending more time on the mat lately. Oh, you really do, huh? Well, I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. And then February, I mean, March the 5th, we're gonna return back to Nashville, right down there at the fairgrounds. And then the 6th, we're gonna be right down the road in Fairview, Tennessee, right at the high school gym for a big national TV tape. That's right, folks. You could be out there in Fairview. You may get your face on the camera, just like some of the fans at this match were. Uh, Chris Michaels is climbing the wrong turnbuckle. He's after the coal miner's glove. I guess his head's been knocked a little silly. Nope, just a nice elbow drop off the top on Colorado Kid. One of his specialties, and probably the move he does better than anyone else. He's going for a Rep cover here. One, two. Oh. No. Colorado Rep Kid's got his foot on the rope. You know, that's an easy out. I can see Colorado taking the easy way out of that and just putting his foot on the rope. He doesn't have the, the tenacity to kick out. Well, whatever it worked, and Chris Michaels is upset about it, but referee Kurt Henning is admonished from telling him to back off. Okay, Chris Michaels is going up for the glove now, and I tell you what, if he gets it, he is going to take Colorado Kid, and his face is going to look like Swiss cheese after um, Chris Michaels gets through with the glove. Uh, Chris Michaels, he didn't even need the glove. You know, he, he had this planned all along. Um, we know what he did. We know what happened. Uh, he, he had it just set up in case he didn't get the glove. Colorado Kid was going to go down. 
Um, I got to say, though, Colorado Kid, not quite dressed for the occasion like Chris Michaels. Chris Michaels is ready that. to get Did a little bloodier. That? He yeah. took him right over in a pitted predicament, and Colorado Kid didn't even know what happened to him. But back to what's coming up. You know, March the 13th, the big fans reunion right down there in the National Fairgrounds, and they're returning March the 26th. We had a great show there before. We're going back right down there, Elfton, Kentucky, the Todd Central High School gym. Oh, oh Rocky Mountain flat gosh. top on Chris Michaels. Colorado Kid's probably got this one won. I, I tell you what, that was a modified slam pile driver it looked like to me. And he's going up there for that glove again. He's going up, he's almost got it, look. And does he, he's trying to get it down, he's got his hand on it. He got he's the glove. He's got the glove, he's got the glove. Now you would think Chris Michaels is in trouble right here, wouldn't you? But look who comes around the corner, red-headed stepchild Chad Hall. He's, this is smart wrestling on the behalf of uh, Chris Michaels. And look, bam, right there, Chad Hall gets knocked down to the ground. I mean, this is what they, you know, they created the version of the game. And here comes Ted Sweet. Big See Ted Sweet. I'll give Colorado Kid credit. He looks like he's ready for this. He knows what kind of tricks Chris Michaels pulls. And your buddy Bart Sawyer in the yellow. Ooh. Bart just got down to the mat right there. Looking Walking like a bumblebee who lost his stripes. Look, Bart's back up. There goes Chris with a chair. You can't knock Bart Sawyer out. He just keeps going and going and going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Oh, oh right there. Blasted on the head with a chair. Referee's asking for the bell. That's that chair music playing the Colorado kids' ears drums right now. He got hit so hard with that chair, I think he's looking at the next week already. And now you're looking at what happened a little later in the match. The, the pummeling continued, the beating on the Colorado kid. The match is over, and like I said, the four of them gang up on him. Chad, I don't know, he's disappeared. There he is. They've got some rope. They're going to tie the Colorado kid up right there. You know, a little bit later, they, they had a... The, the nosy cameraman was sitting there and he was tearing down his equipment and they called Chad Hawk, Bart Sawyer, yes. Ernest T, all of them coming back to the scene of the crime and they're gonna show that footage a little bit later. But look, they're tying the Colorado kid up. They've got him hog tied. He's hog tied and also if you notice fans, he is bleeding badly from his head. There's, I don't think I've ever seen the Colorado kid been busted open that bad, if at all. I mean, he's really gotten a beating like he's never had before. There's Big Ted Sweet trying to look like Bret Hart in his pink and black. Uh, where are they carrying him? They're carrying him off to the back of the bed. Look, the blood is just gushing down his head. They're carrying him off to the side. And yeah, there's this. Ernest T waving him on. I'm telling you what, this this is this is music to my ears. I, I can't believe I'm witnessing this. Yeah, it was music. If you could have heard the the backing sounds on that truck, you know what? Ernest T, I don't know where he stole that re that re truck from, but there's Chad Hawk holding Colorado Kid. Now look, he's already tied up, and now Chad Hawk continues to pummel him. That's look, get the flashy Chad, licks beat him up. Y'all punching him some more. That's what I like to see. This is good wrestling right here. And they're taking him down the road, fans. They're driving off in the truck with him. Chris Michaels, Bart Sawyer, and Ted Sweet celebrating like they actually did something and special. All they did was gang up. I mean, anyone can be a bully. Anyone can be tough when it's in numbers. And look. I'm telling you what, this is great. This is fantastic. This is the best thing I've seen in a long time. This is television at its finest. And now we're going to the footage that our cameraman caught when the culprits returned to the scene of the crime. How long's it been? Jeez. Oh, man, it's I... Been too long, Bart. Man, I know Ernest T's... Hey! There they are. Oh, I mean, I know it's a little goofy, but he, he, him and his stepchild, they won't let us down. Come on, come, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Come on, Ernest. Ernest, open come, up his door. Get, come on, Ernest. Give me some good what, news. What took you guys so long? Yeah, problem. Problem. Well, problem. What do you mean problem? He got loose once. Got, got loose. Loose. We tied him back up. You, you took. Who tied him up? Ernest tied him back I up. Tied Ernest. Him up. Ernest. Did, did you tie him up good? Tied him up real good. You got it. I promise. Real hey. Good. What? Hey, what are you doing with that camera? Hey, what the, what the hell? Whoa, it's a big one in Music City tonight.